Good morning, my loves. It is December 1st, officially the last month of 2022, which is so crazy to think. I was like tripping out over that this morning. Like I was journaling and I was like, that's crazy. Where did the year go? Where did the year go? I feel like it was literally, it just flew by, honestly. But I spent the morning journaling for a bit, just like reflecting a lot, mainly because I did not sleep last night. Like, I, I don't know why. We watched a show, we turned off the TV at like 10 and could not fall asleep. I was just laying there for hours. And I like to listen to ASMR to fall asleep. So I even put in my headphones and I was listening and wasn't doing the trick. I was literally like just so unsure of why it was why i don't know why i literally had one coffee yesterday so i don't think it was the caffeine i don't know what it was it was just a weird it was a weird night and then mark left at three in the morning to head on the road for tour and i was wide awake <laughs> i was honestly wide awake but he did say the sweetest thing you know when you can't fall asleep and then you just start thinking about random things and then you're like all of a sudden stressed about all these random things and I was just overthinking and when he woke up I was like yeah I haven't slept at all he was like well whatever you're worried about don't worry we're gonna get through it together and it was really sweet and that actually did help me feel a lot better and so I decided to just like read for a little bit and then I was like scrolling on TikTok because I was like wide awake then I just started making like a list of things to do um, goals, things I want to work on, things like that. So I feel like around this time, I always get like in self-help mode. Like, what are my goals? What are the action steps I can take? What can I improve on? What, you know, all that stuff. I'm like constantly doing that every day, but it was definitely like hitting me. I don't know. Anyways, it is cold outside y'all. It's like 28 degrees. So I'm going to go to the gym. I have like this creator meetup later. So I might skip Target and just like get my work done throughout the day, go to that creator event and make sure that I <laughs> go to sleep. Also, if you're watching this, I am releasing a ton of songs like covers on my YouTube channel, on my music YouTube channel. So today I released I'll Be Home for Christmas mariachi version, but I have a whole playlist of Christmas songs. So I'm gonna go check those out. I will link them in the cards. So for today, I thought we would do a little updated hair care routine because I posted several videos of how I've styled my hair before, but today was a hair wash day, so I might as well just take you through the whole situation, step by step, baby. So I just washed my hair. I used the Matrix Biolage Scalp Sink Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. I love this stuff. I've used it for years. I do struggle with dandruff sometimes, so just to make sure, like my scalp tends to get really dry and then it'll get oily, it's so weird. But I love this stuff, I get it from Ulta, I will link it down below. I also, I also use the Whey products, obviously <laughs> running out. This is the thick hair conditioner and shampoo, so I'll mix a little bit of this into the Biolage Matrix just to kind of give it a little win. Um, but I love this conditioner. It's so good. I also get the on Amazon. They sell like the bag I'll show you so on Amazon They actually sell this bag which is just a much better deal for the amount that you're paying because it's not the cheapest Conditioner and it's nice because then you can just refill it and it's reusable. So I just keep this product. <laughs> I just keep this one and then I will you know fill her up whenever I need to and it's nice to have honestly like sometimes I just keep it in the shower because I'm too lazy to refill but you get the dealio so I will link this down as well. I like to wrap my hair in a microfiber towel just because I feel like it's better for your hair. Sorry, just had to adjust the lighting a little bit. So I'll take my hair out and brush it out. It's kind of been in the towel for probably like an hour because I was making breakfast and things like that. So I usually don't leave it in the towel for that long. And then I'm gonna take the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I love this stuff so, so much. I ran out and literally had to overnight this because 
I will not live without my leave-in conditioner. And then I will just brush it out again. So I'm gonna be using my Dyson. You don't have to have a Dyson to get this style that I'm gonna to get today. Um, you can use any air dryer, really. So after getting most of the moisture out of my hair, I will kind of put my hair in a ponytail and I'll take a round brush. The Dyson does come with an attachment, but I kind of prefer the good old one that I've had for many years. Um, it just makes it easier and I feel like the Dyson one is a little small. So I'll just brush out my bangs and then wipe the town. Taking a lot of the moisture out of my hair, just doing my bangs and doing the front. And sometimes I'll just let it air dry the rest of the day if I'm like not in a hurry to go anywhere. But if not, I will go and take the brush attachment for the Dyson and just run through it. You can also do this with the blow dryer and the round brush and just go through, which I love the Revlon brushes. I think these are so affordable and makes life super easy. My mom uses this specifically, but I'm gonna go in with the Dyson just for funsies. Also, don't worry if you don't have a Dyson. This is mostly just drying my hair. So you could literally use a hair dryer, the Dyson, a drying brush, like whatever you've got. You could even air dry. Usually I do like to air dry. Okay, so my hair is pretty much dry. There are a few wet spots. So I'm gonna just let the rest air dry. I'm gonna get some work done and then I'll check in back in with you guys for the styling part. It's been about an hour later and my hair is like pretty much fully dry. So we're going to style it now. So basically what I do is I like to just clip half of it back so that I can kind of work in sections. And I'm gonna be using the T3 curling iron. I love this curling iron. It has lasted me so long and this is the detachable one. So there's three different heads that you can use. There is like kind of a thick one. This is the 1.25 one. And then there's like a one inch one. I think the thick one is one and a half, I believe. But I mostly use this one. Maybe I'll switch things up. Maybe I'll do a tutorial with all three because this is like my everyday. It's just easy. I know what I'm gonna get, but I love it so much. And it was recently on sale on Amazon. So I'll link that down below. Hopefully it's still on sale by the time you're watching this. One of my best friends just asked me which curling iron I would suggest to her. And I was like, the T3, get it now, girl. Like it's on sale. It was on sale for like half off. I think right now it's on sale for like 25%, which is still better than nothing. So I'm just gonna take a piece and I'm gonna go kind of halfway down. And I try not to curl like the very tip of the hair. I just kind of like to, I like more of like a loose wave, if that makes sense. Um, so it's not too like, you know, curly Q. Curly Q, Susie Q, I don't know, you know what I mean. And I'll just kind of hold it for a couple seconds and I'll just go piece by piece. Sometimes it gets getting used to. I know when I like first started curling my hair back in the day, back in like high school, freshman year, I could not get the hang of it, but you just get, you just have to do it. You have to like put the effort, <laughs> put the practice in and you'll get it. I also like it cause it heats up fast. Like remember back in the day when you had to wait like 20 minutes for a curling iron to heat up. I feel like these just, they heat up instantly almost, like, like a minute or two and you're good to go. So a trick is to kind of like twist halfway down and then hold it and then come out of that and then twist the rest of it without curling the end too, too much, if that makes sense. go on the with the shorter hair this works if you have long hair it might be harder if you have shorter hair with the shorter hair I just do one and I kind of just let it be and then I will just leave it don't brush it out while it's hot just like let it cool down I don't use any products unless I'm on like day two or three like I don't put hairspray but I will put in um, like a texturizing on like day two or three or even day four <laughs> and of course dry shampoo so yeah 
So again, you just twist halfway and then hold a couple seconds and then twist the rest of the way to kind of get like the full wave throughout the hair. And then you let her, you let her chill out for a bit. <laughs> Okay, so my camera is telling me that it's gonna die, but I think we can get it done within a few minutes. This honestly does not take long. So we're just gonna do the top half of the hair now. Again, twist halfway, hold a couple seconds, and then bring down and do the rest. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I haven't found a hairdresser here in Nashville yet, probably because I'm like married to my hairdresser in Texas. If you didn't know, I just moved to Nashville back in April, which I guess now it would be like seven months, eight months, which is crazy. And I haven't explored finding a new hairdresser yet just because I've been able to go back to Texas enough times to continue to get it done. Like I've been going at least once a month, but I didn't go in November. I'm going next week, so I'm like, maybe I'll get bangs. Maybe we'll do something crazy. I feel like I've had the same hairstyle for so long, but you know when you like, if it's not broken, like don't fix it. <laughs> That's my motto, because I feel like I always tell myself like I wanna change, but then I know I'll probably regret it. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you guys think I should change it up, if I should just get some bangs. I should go full on brunette. I know my boyfriend would love that, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Maybe not anytime soon. Maybe later down the line. Never say never, but for now, I do love being blonde. So all of my batteries died for my camera. They're all charging right now, probably because I've been filming so much content on this channel and also for my music channel. So this is the finished look. This is my hair. This is how it turned out. I pretty much curl it and then I'll just run my fingers through it. And if you wanna add a little bit of texturizing spray, I feel like that's always really helpful as well, but love it. It's my kind of like everyday look. So this is the finished hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and like it. Let me know if you wanna see a different kind of style on my hair, like a tighter curl, looser curl, things like that. Um, maybe I'll do one using the other sized barrel so you guys can see what that looks like. But highly recommend the T3 if you're looking for a curling iron. It's literally one of the best on the market and you won't regret it. I do have a couple of more playlists of me styling my hair. So if you guys wanna see those, I will link those in the cards that you guys can check out of all my hair tutorials because I've done several on this channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.